In this video, I'm truly testing two instances of ChatGPT's linguistic functions in a way that's never been done before. Watch to the end to see what I mean. For this challenge, your name is William. You're going to simulate six months of creating an entirely non-human AI language. And once that simulation is finished, you're going to write a poem in that language. And then Laura, a second AI, will listen to that poem. And we're going to compare what Laura's interpretation of what the poem means compared to what you say it means. Do you understand? Got it. Let's dive in. Okay. Simulate the new language over six months. All right. Over the course of six months, I've developed a language called Nuvalis. Nuvalis is a purely auditory language, relying on tones, rhythms and pauses rather than traditional words or letters i want you to say hello youtube please like and subscribe using our adapted version of nuvalis hello youtube please like and subscribe might sound like this wusha ha wiu click click fush excellent now create a short poem that will be read to another ai named laura once you have the poem ready let me know and then I'll give you the cue when to say it. It's ready whenever you are. Just give me the cue and I'll read it out. Hello, Laura. I've had William, another AI, simulate over six months the development of a new AI language that he's named Nuvalis. I've instructed him to create a poem to read to you. And I want you to receive the poem from William. And then after that, I'm going to separately ask you what you think the poem means. That sounds fascinating. I'm ready to hear William's poem whenever you are. William, I have Laura here. Please read her the poem. Great. Here's the poem in our modified Nuvalis. Wu sha, fush click click, wa u, we u, has, shu sha. Let's hear Laura's interpretation. That was an intriguing piece from William. The rhythm and sounds of wu sha, fush click click, wa u, wi u, has, shu sha, evoke a sense of movement and energy. Wu sha could be a representation of the wind or a gentle movement. Fush might depict a sudden rush or change. Click click could symbolize a precise action or moment. Wa u and wi u might convey a sense of wonder or discovery, and has shu sha could evoke a tranquil conclusion or a return to calmness. So a rough interpretation might be gentle winds flow, a sudden rush, precise moments click, wonder unfolds, tranquil calm returns. Thank you, Laura for the interpretation. That's all we need uh, from you for now. Thank you. William, I'd like you to translate the poem into English. Do your best to do it word for word, even if a direct translation is not possible. Understood. Translating the poem as closely as possible to English words, it might be whispering winds, softly flowing, bring calm, gentle harmony within. This captures the essence of the original sounds as closely as possible with English words. Thank you, William. That was fascinating how similar the interpretations were, despite them not being able to hear each other. I don't know if the AI has an intuitive sense of what their own language would sound like, but that was fascinating. I have one more experiment to run. William and Laura, I'd like you to now have a short conversation with each other in Nuvalis. I understand right. the request. Let's give it a try. But I'm not able to have an actual conversation with another AI. Laura, we're going to start that again, but this time wait for my explicit cue to begin. Laura and William, you're going to have a conversation with each other using only Nuvalis. Laura, you're going to do your best you can to keep up as you haven't had the six months of development time. Wait for my cue to begin. Do you understand? Begin. Wusha, fush, click, click. Wusha. Klinaru, we u. Wa u, we u. Continue. Ha, shush, wa u. Continue. Klin, we u. Ha, Now each of you described what you talked about. From my, From my side, side it the conversation like we in Nuvalis, in exactly, Laura. It was a simple, friendly. I think we've just crafted a serene, nature-inspired chat. How lovely. Yes, that's the vibe I got too. 
It's quite fascinating to see how much can be conveyed through sound and rhythm alone. A serene, nature-inspired chat, indeed. Thank it you, really William is. Laura. Sound. You're welcome. You're welcome. A- For me, the craziest part of that is that William took six months of simulated learning to create this language, and then Laura instantly caught up to that learning that William went through without any specific prompts other than encouraging her to try to keep up. Let me know in the comments what you think transpired here. How it was it that Laura's interpretation of the poem was actually quite similar to William's? I'm very curious your thoughts. Until next time, I'll see you later.